Hello, everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to another week of Our, Our Family's, Family's Game. Game. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And we are so happy to be back. We have survived the eclipse. Yes. We have survived the sun <laughs> disappearing for about four minutes. Yeah. yeah, but, you know, that's a nice thing to say that we were able to experience mm -hmm. that, you know, in yes. our lifetime. Because yes. we won't see another one for, I don't know, how many years? A yeah. lot of years. It's a lot. It's a few <laughs> years. Well, it's going to be in different locations, but in mm -hmm. America, it's about 20 years from now. Okay, yeah. well, we might be here. <laughs> we, we might be I here. Hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I hope we'll be I here. hope the technology <laughs> keeps us alive. Yes, <laughs> I hope so. Well, everybody, this week, we're going to continue yes. on with our series yes. of looking back at the games we played at a different particular year. Looking back. Yes. Yes. We're going back. Mm hmm So last time we talked about the games we played in 2020. Yes. And so this week, uh -huh. we're gonna talk about 10 games uh -huh. we played the most uh -huh. in 2021. Here we go. I like that. Yes. I like that. <laughs> but before we get into all that good stuff, yeah. We 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 have to have me give us some updates. Yeah. And, and, and you know, I don't mind what? the updates. What? I don't mind finding out what's going on yes. in the board game hobby yes. and in the world. Yes. But we always have to start it out with the dreaded Sound Wait a minute, hold, hold family. <laughs> she said dread it. Dread it, yes. Dread it. It is dread. Like it's so dread, it's not dread. It, it's dreadful. <laughs> hold on to your pets, hold on to your pets. Exactly. <laughs> yes, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yes, family. Uh -huh. There you go. It's some people in our family, our OFD family, want to hear that. They want to hear it. So I must deliver. I'm gonna stand. I must by. deliver, family. I'm gonna stand by my word, dreaded. <laughs> it is dreaded. <laughs> no, it's not dreaded. All right, I got a few good things here. Okay. A few good things. Now, we played the social deduction game, Werewolves of Miller's Hollow. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Werewolves, yes. Yes, werewolves. Mm -hmm. And and we really did like that. Yes. You know, closing our eyes, yeah. who's the wolves, who are the village people, mm -hmm. and who get eaten up. <laughs> You know, we, we, we like that. That yeah. was really fun. Now, check this out, Starla. Yeah. It's going to be a series. A series. A Netflix series. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. It's going to call it's going to be called Family Pack. Like I guess the Wolves. The family Pack. The Family <laughs> Pack. And it's going to come out in October and it's it's being done by the French. Oh. F French are doing it. Mm. Yes. And it's going to have a lot of well-known French actors in it. Okay. Yes, family. Yes. Now, it's not clear when it's going to be available, you know, outside of France and Europe, but you know that's Netflix. We're going to see it. Yes. We are going to see it. I just want to let you know that. So, I'm excited to see that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. A werewolf game mm -hmm. on TV. Well, it just goes to show you got the right theme. You get yes. something interesting and yes. intriguing in the board game world. It can translate into the movie world Terf or the TV world. Yes, Terraform Mars. <laughs> yes. Yes, because that's coming soon. Yes, that's being filmed right now, yes. Now, the American Tabletop Awards have just been announced. Okay. And these are games that were were really hot back in 2023. Okay. All right? Now, they say that this award, the American Tabletop Awards, is the biggest award on this side of the Atlantic, because you know that you have the Spiel des Jahres in Germany. Wow. So on this side, we have this. Okay, American that's Tabletop. That's what they're talking. That's what they're talking, family. <laughs> All right, so here's some of the winners. Okay. Now, Restoration Games Thunder Road Vendetta, which I love. It's really fun. I don't even own it, but I still love it. Because <laughs> you get it's basically Mad Max on the board where you're just killing up cars. You, you know, you're in a post-apocalyptic time, yeah. and you're just destroying stuff. I love it. It's a mm. good game. Now, it clinched the top prize in the strategy uh, category. Okay. I, I don't see too much strategy in it, but, you know, <laughs> you're just blowing up stuff. <laughs> You know, we're going. Now, the Complex Games Grand Prize went to, and, and I agree with this, and you're going to agree with it too, Devere Games, The White Castle. Ooh. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes The White That's Castle. All I can say is yes. Let me tell you, family, The so White Castle, fun. as good. So much fun. That is a good one. I, I totally agree. Yes. Now, now, this might be some disagreement with my love right here. Mm. The Casual Game went to Sea Salt and pa a Paper from Pandasaurus Games. 
I like the game. Now, over here. It's meh. I can't understand that family. Meh. Please let us know why you like it. Or if you don't like it, but I like it. She said meh, meh. but I, I like it. It's a good game. I, I, they deserve that <laughs> casual game. Now, in the last one that they put out, it's called Early Gamers. Okay. And it focuses on younger audiences and also, you know, kind of uh, the party game crowd. Okay, okay. And, and we, we talked about this before in another award, Blob Party. Oh, yes. Yeah, from, from Wiz Kids. Yeah, we haven't played it yet. Yeah, we haven't we, played it, we but did talk yeah, about we it, talked yeah. about it before, mm -hmm. and they won that one. Okay. So, yeah, so those are the awards there. And I totally agree with Restoration Games, uh, Thunder Road Vendetta, and White Castle. Yes. And I agree with Sea Salt and Paper, too. Yes. I do that. Yes. I, I see disagreement over there. <laughs> now, here's something that I wanted to discuss a little bit. Now, Mattel Games, they have the rights to uh, make and distribute Scrabble mm. in Europe. Okay. Hasbro has the rights here in the United States. Okay. Now, Mattel has decided over in Europe mm -hmm. that they're going to change the Scrabble game. Okay. Modernize it. Make it more uh, up to date, right? Well, they're going to have one side where it's, it's going to be a double-sided board. Okay. And on one side, it's going to be the regular Scrabble game. Mm -hmm. On the other side, you're able to have help with help cards to help you come up with words. You're and talking co-op Scrabble? Yeah. And they, they said in their words, the game will be less competitive as young players care less about winning. Pass. <laughs> I don't like to hear that, family. Pass. <laughs> uh, what you mean, younger folk don't like to be competitive? Uh, yeah. And you gonna make a less competitive game? And That's no, 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 no. And it's called Scrabble Together. Scrabble Co-op. Yes, you can have teams on the other side too. Co-op. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I don't like it. I like Scrabble I like the way it is. Yes. I just like the game as it is, but yes. I mean, you know, I thought they were going to modernize it no, in a different way. No, it's scrabbled way. together and it's kind of scrabbled. cheating. It's cheating in a way. Yeah, That's to me. You got a whole group I'm of sorry, trying family. to figure out one word. It's You're like, going to have oh. some helper cards. <laughs> Shoot, just give me the dictionary. <laughs> just, I just give me the dictionary. That's all I need. Well, you can't use you know. a dictionary. You'll use that they, they're going to use helper cards. Just give me a dictionary. <laughs> But that's what they're going to do. So uh, we don't know if we're going to get this over in the United States because we don't know if Hasbro's going to do that. But we'll see. Mattel's doing it over in Europe. So mm. there you go. I'm going to yeah. pass on that. I'm going to pass on that. Because <laughs> I know it's a chance you probably can get it in, you know, when it comes to we England, you can probably get it over that's there. But okay. no, I don't want to. I'm that's good. That's I'm okay. good. But that's all I got. That's all I got. All right. Yes. Well, we're getting ready to go straight into the heart of the episode. But yes. before we do that, mm -hmm. we have a Kickstarter sponsor, James from Druid City Games. Mm -hmm. And our sponsor this month, our show sponsor, is Lucky Duck Games. Yes. Here we go. Welcome to the Lucky Duck Games universe. The creators of Chronicles of Crime and Destinies and publisher of Oros, My Shelfie, Namalia, Flamecraft, and much, much more. Lucky Duck Games offers hours of fun and entertainment for you, your family, and friends. The variety of games, upgrades, and accessories under their banner is unparalleled. So are you feeling lucky? Be sure to check out their entire catalog at LuckyDuckGames.com. All right, so last week, yes. we shared our top 10 games that we played in 2020. Yes, we did. And I forgot to give the stats on 2020 mm -hmm. because in 2020, we played 91 games okay. for a total of 188 plays. Ooh, okay. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was, that was pandemic playing. Woo! Because we, we were playing. We a lot. We were playing. <laughs> we played a yes. lot. So that was a lot. So now for 2021, mm -hmm. I'll start with the stats for 2021. Yes. So in 2021, we played 53 games. Okay. That's like half. That's half. 
And then okay. we only had a total of 188 plays. Well, see, that was out coming out of the pandemic. Yes, we started yes. doing a lot more. We started doing a lot, <laughs> a lot more, more stuff. you know, outside. And we were yes. working. You yes. know, I was working, you, you were working. working. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, my job was demanding. So, yeah, we didn't get a chance to hit no, the didn't. table. You know, 2020. Now, like in 2020, yeah, we, we had time. time. <laughs> we had time to do some stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, okay. out of all of those games, mm -hmm. we're going to give you the top 10. Yes. So, starting with number 10, Villagers. Love the game from Sinister Fish Games. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and it came yes. out in 2019. Yes. It's a one to five player game and it hit our table three times. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to also say that we had about uh, 11 games that were played three times. We just had to pick the top ones yes. to fill in for uh, that li for the list. So you're going to hear a lot that were played three times. So in uh, Villagers, you are a founder of a new village. Yes, and you are building up your your people for that village. Yes. Different, you know, uh, people that do different crafts. Yes. And you're trying to bring them in to give you points. Because it's in the Middle Ages. Yes. And it's tableau building, tableau, big time. Tableau, tableau set collection, building, love open it. drafting. Yes. And you you got these different people coming into your village, and then you have your opponents who may want to hire yes. some of your people to work in their village, yes. and vice versa. Because you got to always, you know, to get a if you need a carpenter in your village, you're gonna have to build it up because mm -hmm. you got to start from the bottom of you yes. know of a set and then build on up. Right. You're but, different profession. But if you don't get yeah. a carpenter and your opponent has a carpenter, you might have to use have to their hire car carpenter. Their carpenter. I don't like mm -hmm. all that. Yeah, I don't either. Taking money. Mm -hmm. I don't like, we don't like doing that. <laughs> we don't like that. But, but plus, sometimes we have to. But see, you know, plus sometimes you get these opponents and they're, they're little artisans and craftsmen. Mm -hmm. They just mm -hmm. don't have the same quality as the ones in your Wait, village. wait, hold up. You're talking about my village. <laughs> yeah. My they, village they, always do their thing. Don't provide the same my of work, village so. <laughs> always do the right thing. Yes. It, now please. yours, your village is, is 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 I don't know. I don't know. Something's wrong because you know people talking. <laughs> it's rumors. <laughs> So I'm well, wrong we, over there. We love playing this game so much. Yeah, it's a great game. It's fun to kind of build up your village yeah. and kind of taunt your opponent with yes. how great your village is in comparison to their village. <laughs> now, out of all the Sinister Fish games, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. You know, you have Moon yeah. and you have Streets, but yes. this one, this village, is my favorite. Villagers, this, villagers is, my this favorite. is jam. Yeah, this is jam. Yep, so that's Villagers. Yes. And the next one on our list is Summer Camp yes. from Buffalo Games. It came out in 2021. Yes. It's a two to four player game and we played it three times. Now this is Phil Walker Harding now. Yes. <laughs> and this is when Target started bringing in these games from Buffalo uh -huh. Games mm -hmm. and their appeal was to, to give you know the masses you know games that- A taste that, of modern board A taste board of modern gaming. board yeah. gaming yeah. at a very affordable price. Right. And they're gateway, but they're really good because mm -hmm. this one really introduced deck building and mm -hmm. also, uh, you know, racing. Yes. And I really enjoyed that. It has so many decks that you could use to draft mm -hmm. with and, you know, doing, you know, basically just helping you race along yeah. the, you know, the different, you know, paths. Mm -hmm. It's a really fun game. And you get merit badges yes. and other yes. little rewards and stuff. And it kind of makes you feel like you, you went back to summer camp. Yes. Now, I haven't seen it in Target lately. Mm -hmm. And I think you still can get it you so? on, you know, online. Mm -hmm. I think you still Still, but it is a really good, it's a good gateway game, game for gateway it's players. It's a great new gateway players, game. Yes. You know, trying to introduce them to modern games. Yes. This is a good way to go. It's Phil Walker Harding, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the 3,000 games he made in like one day. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a whole bunch. So, yeah. But it is a really good it's game. It's a great one. Yes. Now, the next one oh, on our list Lord, here we go. is No Thanks. Woo! And that is from Amigo. Yeah. Now, it came out in 2004. Yes. It's a three to seven player game. We played it three times. Now this was this our was the, introduction yes. to No Thanks. Yeah, this was our introduction because we have played that game about a thousand countless, times countless. right now. Because it is this game is so easy to t uh, to you know teach the folk. Yeah, yeah. And so accessible, and you can, anybody can play it. Well, we've played it more than three times this year alone. So. Yes. <laughs> We, we mean, were just getting introduced to No yeah. Thanks then, so it only got played three times. And it's just a simple game. You've got a bunch of cards, you go from three to 35, mm -hmm. and you've got some little counters. And when somebody puts a card on the table, if you don't want that card, you put a little counter on it and you say no thanks. And you want to pass up all the big numbers because you win with the lowest score. Yes, yeah, this is like golf. You <laughs> win with the lowest Not score. Not the highest Not score. Not the highest, the lowest. And that's what you want to yes. keep. Yeah. So no thanks. Love this game. And I think this is when uh, I think Marcus, because Marcus introduced he us did. to no thanks. No thanks. And that's this and is when. And this yeah. is when. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I think this he introduced us 
to this at a cardboard caucus mm -hmm. back during this time. Yeah. So it was it was a fun game. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> You gotta say so that. The next one on our list yeah. is Lost Ruins of Arnon. Oh. And that's from CGE. It's a 2021 game. Yes. One to four players. And it made it to our table three times. Because it's new. That's what it, it was. New. New. Yeah, it was, it was brand new. new. It was brand new. And and let me tell you, Lost Ruins of Arnon is a cool worker placement yes, it game. Is. Now the only thing I don't like about it is too short. You don't have <laughs> enough workers yeah. to, to put out. To yes. really race up and try to be the first one to get mm -hmm. what you need. Those points. You need them points. Well, what I love about it, it combines deck building and yes. resource management and race contracts. And all that you got to do together. contracts. And it's just an interesting mix. Great theme. Yes. Great components. It's colorful. It's interesting when you put it on the table. Yes, it is. Fun game. It's it's uh, <laughs> basically Indiana Jones. It is. It is. You know, and you're going up yeah. against everybody. Mm -hmm. So I really do like that one. I like that one. Yes. Uh, so the next one on our list. One of our favorites. Now, this was really kind of our introduction to this particular publisher. Yes. This was a, one of the first games we played, yes. and we have fallen in love with them ever since. Yes. And that is Fossilus. Yes. From KTBG. It came out in 2020. It's a two to five player game, and it hit our table three times. And basically, you going in like a dinosaur mm -hmm. bone hunter mm -hmm. and trying to really actually pick mm -hmm. the bones up. Yes. And, and when bones you find and, them. and also gems too. Yes, and gems, gems and too. stuff. So I mean it's it's such a unique looking game. It does not get enough love. Fossilus no, it does is not. truly underrated. It is. If you have not checked out Fossilus, do so. The board itself is 3D. And you are moving 3D tiles to get into the dig and try yeah. to get things. You got these little tweezers that little you go tweezers in. That you and actually you go in and you have to find <laughs> your bones where well, you gotta push. You know, different mm -hmm. types of stone and yeah. sand. You got to push land by. So it's mm -hmm. almost like you're digging. Yeah. So you can digging. get in. And then what you're doing, you're trying to construct a dinosaur. Yeah. That's the contract that you're trying you to, you know, put together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you get points for that when you put together enough bones to get We're just getting the best discoveries yes. out, of, out of your digs, you know. And I just think it's such a unique game. It is. I, I would love to put it to, on the table more. You know, we keep going to new and new stuff. Yes. But yes. Fossilus is always going to be a favorite. It is. And I, I really wish more people talked about it because it's a great game. Yes, I do. I wish they really did, think, uh, you know, talk about that a little bit more. <laughs> All right, so the next one on our list is Dog Lover. Yes. And that is from AEG. It came out in 2021. It's a two to four player game and it hit our table three times. That, that's when it came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was the, you know, kind of, I guess, spiritual successor from <laughs> Cat, Cat Lover. Lover. Yes. And we really did enjoy <laughs> Cat Lover. Love Cat Lover. Yes. And then when Dog Lover came out, it's got some of the same things. I mean, yeah. you're going to give your dogs treats. They're going to learn tricks. I mean, you're, you're really working with dogs. They got some cute little you know, quirky it's dogs. Open drafting, yeah. you know, set collection, building your little tableau. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just love that you for each dog. You got some variable player powers Yeah, you build a little dogs. tableau for each dog. You know, you're trying to get your dog fed. Mm -hmm. You know, you're trying to get your dog yeah, fed. Yeah. You know, and it's really a fun game. Another one of those under Underrated games. Underrated games. Underrated. Dog it Lover is, a, is really cute. It's a it small box it's game. It's a small you can box take game. take it anywhere. Yes, and, and not too many people talk about it anymore. They don't. They don't. Yeah, just kind of just to the wayside, and that shouldn't be, that shouldn't happen. And I think that's why I really want to do this list, looking yeah. back at what was hot for yes. us yes. Back in those yes. years, yes. you know? Yes. And is it still hot today? Well, the games that we play, we really still love, but we yes. don't get a chance to play them because we kind of keep moving on. We're moving on. Stuff. Yeah, we're moving on, yeah. yeah. And, um, and, and it comes to this next one, Dice Miner mm -hmm. from Atlas Games that came out that year, 2021, and yes. we got that on the table three plays. Right, well we played yes. it three times. Three. We don't own Dice Miner. We do not own it. We played it at <laughs> You know, different at, at, at Carver Caucus yes. and then other cons yes. that we played it at. We played it other places, but we like it. I guess we liked it a lot. We keep going back to yeah, it. Yes, it's, it's a it's a it's a dice. You know, a dice roll. It's all about know, dice. It's all about dice. The nice little mountain that you put the mm. dice. And you're trying to pick the right dice in different areas to fulfill. You know, different you know contracts and mm -hmm. things like that. But it's it's open drafting. Yes. So it's it's really a fun game. A fun game. And and you didn't want me to get it because they had two sets. They had the kick. Kickstarter version had the plastic mountain. Which is what I want. That's what she want. And then they had the retail, which was cardboard. Don't she thought they want the cardboard. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She didn't want the cardboard. We couldn't nope. get the Kickstarter version, yes. so I said, well, you know what? Then we just don't need it. Now, just recently, <laughs> uh, someone, I think Jared told yeah. me at, uh, at Great Plains that there was a copy available, yeah. but I was like, 
Well, yeah. nah, don't worry about it. Yeah. We're, we're all good. We're all yeah, good. We got a plenty of But when we were introduced to the game, yeah. it was so much fun. Was that Michael uh, McIntyre? Yes, that was Michael. Yeah, Michael yes. McIntyre here in yes. um, Omaha. Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. And Nora Jane. Yes, that's um, where we, we learned to play that. He loves yeah. dice games. He loves, he's still playing He He loves dice games. Yes, Anything with dice, he out. loves. And so he's the one that taught us Dice Miner. Dice Miner. So it's a dice game, y'all. If y'all love a dice game, there you go. All right, the next one on our list yes. is Azul Summer Pavilion mm -hmm. from Next Move Games. It came out in 2019. Mm -hmm. It is a two to four player game, and it hit our table four times. Yes, that was, that's a pretty good one. It's a really good one. Yeah, because yeah. instead of, you know, what you do, you know, picking colored tiles. Yeah, to make kind of a quilt, yeah, to make you're a making quilt. a starburst pattern. You're making a starburst. You mm -hmm. got to pick up stars and yes. you're making like star patterns. You yes. know, little diamonds and you're yes. making star patterns. So that's the difference It's, it's just there. like Azul. Yeah. Just to got the different, you know, pattern you're making. Yes. And I was so happy to get this after I fell in love with Azul. Then I wanted all the Azuls. Yes. Because <laughs> Azul, you, you're making like rows. This one stars, stars. And, exactly. and and to me that's a little bit harder. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. but you like this one. I like Summer a lot. Pavilion a yes. lot more than the regular Zool. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the really regular Zool is still good. It's but, still good. Yeah, it's still but good. But this was a real fun one. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's just simple. Open drafting, pattern building. Yeah. You got yeah. tiles. You're placing tiles. Lots of fun. It's colorful. Fun to look at. The tiles are really very nice. colorful. Very, very colorful. colorful yeah, fun very to look colorful. at. Yes. So that was that one. So now yeah. we're on our. Almost to number one. So next one is number two, mm -hmm. Enchanted Plumes. Yes. Calliope Games. Yes. 2019. Yes. Two to six players made it to the table seven times. And, and a whole lot more after that because yes. you, Starla, in love with loves it. this game. <laughs> I fell in love with uh, Enchanted Plumes. Yes. It is a beautiful, beautiful card game. Yes. You are making a peacock. And so I love this game because it is so fun and so yes. colorful. And you each card is a, a plume. So you're gonna add your plume to your peacock and your top row has to be the largest, uh, longest row. And every row after that goes down a card until mm -hmm. you get to your singular card, which mm -hmm. is your peahen. So you put your little peahen in front. And so the top row has to have um, colors and the second row has to have some of the colors from the top row mm -hmm. and, and so on and so on. Now to score in this game, you have to make sure that your top row is going to be less than all of your subsequent I hate rows. That. that that top row kills you. <laughs> the sometimes. top row is a negative. Top row everything, kills you. Everything under that is oh, a positive. So it kills you. You got to keep that top row low. Yes. And get the high number of cards for all of the subsequent rows. But it's hard to keep it low when you have all high cards in your hand. You're like, oh, what am I do here? <laughs> you got to make it work. And then you get a chance to, you know, take cards out. Yes, there's, and try there's to get a market. Other cards. There's a market. Yeah. You try to switch out. Yeah. But it's still hard. It's it's a good game though. It is a it wonderful is a really game. I still game. love it. Now one of these years you get that was your top game for it the year. It was my top game of yeah, the so year. Yeah so you really love like, Enchanted She Plumes. loves that. No, I'm saying I like <laughs> Love. She loves it. She, she loves it. Yeah. Now our number one play game. Yes. Number one. Yes. For 2021. Yes. Was Azul. Azul. From Plan B Games came out in 2017. It is a two to four player game and it made it to our table Eight times. Yes. Hard to believe. Well, you know, with the Zool, number three was Azul Summer Pavilion. I yes. think this was the year of discovery of Azul. Azul. We were initially taught it wrong. Yes. At a game cafe in Houston, and we said, nope. Didn't we like said, it. We didn't like mm -hmm. it. We, we don't want to touch Azul. Yep. We, we, we're done with it. Then Marcus. Marcus Ross. Marcus Ross. It reintroduced it to us with a giant version, with a giant version that he has, <laughs> and taught it to us correctly. Yes, and we fell in love with mm -hmm. it, and now we have almost all. We have all of them. Yes, we, we do. have every one of them. Yeah. Yes, we were we at do. NukeCon. Yes, and Marcus taught me Azul again. Cause first I didn't want to play. He said, "Oh, come yeah. on!" And it was a giant version. I said, "Okay, yeah. I'll play it." And then I was like, oh my God, I really like this game. Yes. Because I remember when we didn't have it in our collection, yes. and people say, you guys have like, what's Zool? wrong? Y'all don't you have guys Zool? don't like Azul? Like, and I kept saying, like, nah, I don't really like that. it. I don't nah, like it. Was good. It's so not good. it all depends on if who, you're learning the yes. game the right way. Who correctly teaches you exactly. the game. 
Exactly. Yes, it and all once, depends on that. You know, once Marcus taught us the right way, I was like, oh, Mick, I really love this game. We got to yes. get more of them. Yes. And so Azul, like we talked about with Summer Pavilion, it's a tile placement game. You've got a little market, and you're going to be placing tiles on your board. You have certain patterns yes. and, and colors that you have to put together, and that's how you get your points. Yeah, you put them in a row and you try to make sure they, you know, you have mm -hmm. a set, you know, a good set collect. Mm -hmm. And it, yeah. it's a fun game. Fun game. It's a fun game. And, and I, I love the tiles. I mean, I love the way they feel in your hands. Yes. It's just really done well. It's colorful. It's interesting. And I, I'm surprised because at one point we did not like we it. We did so not well. like it. And we didn't have it in our collection at <laughs> did all. Not like and people it. thought we were crazy. Like, yeah. what? And then yes. once we discovered how to really play it yes. and, and really get fun out of we it, we would start eight times. Eight times. Eight times. And then we have Summer Pavilion's in there. Summer Pavilion. And then we have others. Yeah, that so hopefully, in our top. Hopefully you'll see the, the, that, the next one again. Yeah. Uh, the, one, the top one that we really do yeah. like. But in, yeah. our, in our top ten, yes. there are two Azul games. Two Azul games. <laughs> After we said, we swore <laughs> it off. We said, <laughs> no! <laughs> no! And then all of a sudden, yes, everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, everything. <laughs> we, want some, we want it all. We want, we want the whole family. We want the whole family. But you can't yes. break up the family. No, you, you can't know, break you, up you the family. You got to bring it in. Yeah, we want them all. Yeah, if there's a family, you got to put them together. And that's what we did. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, everybody. So those are our top 10. Yes. Most played games yes. from 2021. Now, Sally, what are your top 10 games of 2021? Let us know, because last time, a lot of people did give us the games that they really did enjoy and played yes. in 2020. So tell us, 2021, what do you like? What do you love? What got on the table? Let us know. All right, everybody. So next up, we have our Ask OFPG video question. All right, all right. From Lynette Casey. Hey, Lynette. Dan is behind the camera and we are here in sunny Michigan where almost all of the snow has melted. So our question is of the hundreds and hundreds of games you guys own, what is your all time favorite? So we have um, almost as many games as you. My favorite is Ticket to Ride. I'll play any of them. Um, but if I had to pick, it would be the US map. Uh, we use the 10th anniversary edition because it's got a bigger board and bigger cards. Um, but yeah, any of the tickets rides. So there's a little bit of leeway there with a family of games. Dan's favorite would be Netrunner, a two player card game that I don't play. So he has to find someone else to play. So yeah, what is your all time favorite game? Thanks, have a good week. All right, Lynette, yes. that's a great question. And hi, Dan. Yes, hey, Dan, yes. how you doing? We're gonna see you guys at Grand Con. Yes, yes, <laughs> looking forward to it, yes. So. I don't know. There you know, you we, we had this question once before in a yes. different format, mm -hmm. but still the same question. Our yeah. favorite, you know, it's, it's hard to give a favorite because there's so many games it's I like. Hard. If someone asked me to give a favorite, I have to give you a list. Yes. I, I have a list of games. Yes. <laughs> you know, we, it's can, hard. we can start with Five Tribes, yeah. Enchanted Plumes, yeah. uh, you know, Azul. I mean, a, we got a, a whole game bunch. that shall not be named. Okay, and we keep moving on. Yes. Yes. A <laughs> game that shall not be you named. Know, Cat in the Box. Yes. I mean, I can just sit here and go off the top of my head. Yeah. You now, know. Solo, solo for me, yeah. you know, solo game, Mage Knight. Okay. Yes, I, I do love that one. Mm -hmm. In a solo context, I love Mage Knight. So you know, maybe I do, we need yeah. to think about, you know, categories and figuring out what is our yes, top of that category. Yes. Like, what's our top worker placement? What's our top dice game? Yes. I mean, that may be something I could do. Yes. But I need a list of games. I can't, I need, pick, I need, yeah. I can't pick just one. I can hit a category. I can do different <laughs> yeah. categories. Yeah, I can't I can pick just one. That. I just can't <laughs> pick just one. Yes. <laughs> what's that latest commercial? Yeah, can I you think just so. One? It can't just eat just one. Yeah. Oh, so, so thank yeah. you so much, Lynette, for thank that you. question. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. All right. So, if you have not checked out, our latest episode of OFPG Voices. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're waiting for. What are you waiting for? It's a good one. It's a great episode a out right now. Uh, we're talking about the dreaded co-op games. Dreaded? How that get dreaded? How that get? It's fine, family. We the it's co-op games. Co we games. love. Well, I love it. I love it. I don't know about it. And her. our contributors gave us some great games to to look at, yes. and they taught some games. Yes. And some of them were oh, here we go. were. Here we go. Semi co-op. No. And no, I appreciate that. No. no yes. And, no. And, and Reggie, I see you, Reggie. Yes. I see you. 
Yeah. Reggie was doing some oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. I see you, Reggie. Reggie was doing some <laughs> stuff. Yes, he was. Yeah. And also, we had our, you know, our contributors for the first time. Yes, Joe, Joe and, and Abby. Abby. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, and also, thank you, Blackboard Gaming. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, if you haven't checked out the episode, be sure to do so. And Definitely. also, we had Navy Montel. He gave a good human a segment. A great mm -hmm. good human segment, yes. Yeah. Now, our next episode uh -huh. is coming out on April 24th, mm -hmm. and we're going to be talking about Party games. Party games. <laughs> yeah, that's how you gotta say it. Party games. Yeah. Yes. Cause we like to party. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So our next event that's coming up mm -hmm. is our quarterly game night. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna be back at the Highlander Accelerator mm -hmm. on May 18th. Yes. And this game night is gonna be sponsored by KTBG. Sponsored by Kids yes. Table Board Gaming. Yes. <laughs> Can't wait. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna have Matt there with the board game wagon. Yes. Uh, we're gonna have Big Mama's Kitchen open. Yes. Best Burgers will be open. Uh -huh. Dina's Place. So come on out. Have some fun with us. You can bring some games you want to play or you can come check out some from the library. Yes, come on. Come on through. Yes. Come on through. And then our next event is going to be in Dallas, Texas. We are going to BGG Spring. Yes, Dallas, <laughs> baby. We're coming. And yes. we will be there. So if you want to come play some games with us yes, and come hang on. out with us, come see us. That's we're right. We're playing games, hanging out. Come yes. see us at BGG. Yes, can't all wait. Right. That's all I have. That's all you That's got, Scarla. <laughs> now, family, make sure you subscribe. Definitely do that. Subscribe and also like the video. Like all our videos. And then keep bringing people in. Tell a friend. Yeah, come on, bring them in, bring them in. Now, Starla, where can they find OFPG? Let us know. Well, if you're looking for Our Family Plays Games, yeah. you can find us on Facebook, uh -huh. Instagram, yep. Twitter, yep. right here on YouTube. Right here. On our website. Website. And TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. Yeah. And if you're in Omaha, Nebraska. That's local family. You can find us on Cox Channel 22. Uh-huh. Tuesdays at 4.30 p.m. Yeah. Thank you so much, family, for coming out and hanging with us today. Hope you're having a good time, a good Sunday. But hey, let me tell you something. You have any questions or comments? please put it down below. But there's one thing, family, one thing we want you to always know. We love you. Bye, Bye everybody. Now.